Hi guys, this is Aryan and today I am going to present you the first part of 300 MVC questions and answers. So, the first question is, which is the best approach to assign a session in MVC? So, your current dot session and login ID equal to 90. In this way, we can assign a session. Second question, redirect to action permanent method for which status code represent? It represent 301. What is view result? It is a concrete class. So, it means Concrete class means we can instantiate the class. It is different from abstract class which can't be instantiated and its only implementation part is given. Next question redirect to action method for which status would represent. It represents 302. What is action result? It is an abstract class. Redirect to action works like in MVC C sharp as response dot redirect from one pages to the another web page. What request processing technique follows ASP.NET? It follows pipeline technique. Can we use view state in MVC? No, because MVC uses HTTP, it is based on that is stateless. So, no need to use view state. What is the extension? of MVC view when you see south. It is CSHTML. What is default authentication in internet information service? It is anonymous. How can you comment using razor syntax? It's at a star like any comment and then a star at the razor view engine uses to render server side content by using at at the beginning. What is dry principle in ASP.NET? It is do not repeat yourself. It means uh, the code should not be repeated in the application. So reusability of code should be maintained. What is separation of concern in ASP.NET MVC? It is the process of breaking the program into various distinct features which overlaps in functionality as little as possible. MVC pattern concern on separating the content from presentation and data processing from content like UI, business and database. So, it follows this pattern. Can you explain the page life cycle in MVC? Below are the process followed in the sequence. App initialization, then routing, then instantiate and execute controller then locate and invoke controller action and then instantiate and render view what is the meaning of unobtrusive javascript this is a general term that conveys a general philosophy similar to the term rest representational state transfer 
unobtrusive JavaScript does not intermix JavaScript code in your page markup like uh, on click event when you write inside the like uh, page markup like event on click and then you call any JavaScript method so in this way it uh, it is obtrusive JavaScript but in unobtrusive JavaScript we write by taking the ID of any control what do you mean by rotting in MVC it is simply a pattern matching mechanism of incoming request to the URL pattern which are registered in the rot table. So the class URL rotting module is used for the same process. What is attribute rotting in MVC? So ASP.NET Web API supports this type of rotting. This is introduced in MVC file and in this type of routing attributes are being used to define the routes. This type of routing gives more control over classic URL routing. So attribute routing can be defined at controller level or at action level. Like at controller level you can write this way and uh, also the uh, action level which name is space is used for razor view engine it is system dot wave dot razor which name is space is used for aspx view engine it is system dot wave dot mbc dot waveform view engine which is more faster between ASPX view engine and Razor view engine it is ASPX view engine does Razor engine supports for PDD it is test driven development yes it supports does ASPX view engine supports for PDB? No, it does not support. Does MVC 6 introduce new JSON project based structure? Yes. Now the last question of the first part is explain dependency resolution. Dependency resolver again has been introduced in MVC 3 and it is greatly simplified the uses of dependency injection in your application. This turned to be easier and useful for decoupling the application component and making them easier to test and more configurable. So, in this way we have learned and uh, understood the core concept of MVC. 25 questions we have learned and uh, in the next part we will touch next 25 question. So hope you guys really enjoyed my video and uh, if you have any concern then you can comment in the comment box and uh, please support me. Bye for now.